it, it, there's no depth to the relationship with Jesus, and instead we're looking for the fix. We're looking continuously for the fix. Jesus, it's me again. You ever, you ever prayed that prayer? Je Jesus, it's, it's me again. I, I, I messed up. It, Jesus, I, I need, it, Jesus, I, it, it's me again. Here, here I am, Jesus. And, and we, we're looking, can you, can you work out the situation? I, I, I know that I haven't been faithful, but, but would you work, work out this situation? And then I promise, oh, Jesus, if, just one more time, Jesus. And we have this guilt and condemnation in coming to the Father, and we, we're not coming boldly to the throne of grace because we're looking at our faith as a fix rather than a lifestyle. And so we're searching the next high, right? Like we need the next prophetic word. We, we need the next conference. We, we, need, we need the next revelation. And there's no stability to our faith. And so we're up and down and up and down. And, and, and one moment we have the victory and the next moment we think God has forsaken us. And we have this emotional roller coaster of our faith going on. There's no stability because we've treated our relationship with Jesus like a drug. Just when we need the fix. Just when we need a little bit of Jesus. There's no room for in our lives, but we're going to get that fix whenever we need him. Just to appease ourselves, we're just going to get a little bit of Jesus. And so we don't really see Jesus for who he is. Jesus said in John 4, 48, he said, unless you see signs and wonders, you will never believe. He understood this, that we treat our faith like a drug. He understood that they were coming to see the signs and not the Savior. 